Well, that massive outage also impacted a lot of businesses here in our area. That's right. We've been looking into that a little bit earlier. We told you about the impact that we saw out at the airport stranding so many mm. frustrated travelers. And Karen Campbell is here now and you spoke with a local cybersecurity expert about how this may have happened. We woke up and thought, how does this one software update yeah. Go impact global, right? much of the world? Right. Yeah, well, it's a single software update as we have been reporting. And he said the most important thing to know is that this is recoverable. Mm -hmm. It's going to take time. Now, some businesses have already started that process to recover. John Boomershine, he's with Black Ink IT. He says investigations will help determine how an update affected everyone all at once around the world. And he says typically there are tiers of release is what he calls uh, that would help protect uh, people in this situation. Those updates happen throughout the day and the evening, and it's one of those updates that triggered this event. It appears that they erroneously identified a file that was a legitimate file as being a virus or something bad. They clamped onto it and that crashed systems. So Boomershine says this will happen again, so get ready for it. He says business owners should be prepared for something like this to happen in the future. Again, preparedness is the key. So one thing I, I do want to mention, because uh, we got reports earlier of the BMV being offline and mm -hmm. AES customers not being able to make payments online. That has now changed. Everything is back to normal with, mm -hmm. with those two businesses, as well as others who are slowly coming back online. It's nice to hear that everything's recoverable, but in the meantime, at what cost? Yeah. You right. know? It, well, and it's just so frustrating when you're caught in the middle of something yeah. and you're relying on some sort of digital information yeah. and you just can't access it. All yeah, those exactly. airline passengers you feel oh bad my for him. I know. I yeah. know. Karen, right. thank you. Yep. Our digital team has put together a, a great timeline of everything that happened today. Who here in central Indiana was impacted, how we dealt with it. You can go back and actually follow along with everything almost by the hour. You can find it on our homepage right now. It's one of the first things you see at WTHR.com.